what's up guys my name is Glocka and welcome to a sponsored video and today we'll be featuring Dungeon Rush it's a free mobile game and I think the the best way I can describe this game is it's a semi idle dungeon crawling adventure game so I'm pretty sure you guys have played a lot of those type of uh, video games or if you haven't really tried one of it well this is a Probably the perfect time to try one because this game is very very easy. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how the gameplay works and uh, all the other details. All right, guys, here we go. So Dungeon Rush is pretty much set in a fantasy uh, setting where you know like elves, uh, dwarves, and dark elves and all that stuff exist. Uh, you know, just a typical fantasy game. Now, uh, the gameplay is quite easy. Let me show you. Okay, I've progressed a bit in this game. Now, uh, you can see there's an auto battle there. I'll show you why it's called auto battle. I'm pretty sure you guys will learn this in the tutorial, but I might as well show you guys. So, um, you set a party of six, all right? And the two guys here, this one, the one that I'm removing, are pretty much the tanks because the, uh, the people in the front are the ones that take the most damage. So, I put my tanks there. There's also, uh, you guys can see those symbols on the corner of each character. I'm going to explain to you guys what those are so anyways you just set uh six party members and you're good to go just press battle and then just you'll see <laughs> okay so we're battling a boss right away that's it that's pretty much the gameplay guys see it's easy really easy and there you have it that's how easy this game is actually it's not that easy because you know what you have to actually plan or strategize in some way now guys when i say easy i'm talking about the basic mechanics of the game right? pretty much the tutorial stuff now once you progress in the game it gets really challenging okay i actually almost died there now let me show you guys the strategy involved in this game all right so what we have here are a bunch of ghouls i'm calling them ghouls and you can see that they have a, a, a skull symbol now Here's the attribute correlation. You'll, you'll learn this in the, uh, the, sh the tutorial, but uh, during the first time I was so confused. You know, basic gaming mechanics, if it counters it, it deals more damage and it has resistance against it. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, actually. Yeah, actually that's pretty much it. <laughs> And there you go, that took around, what, a minute or and a half, I think? Yeah. So, you see, very simple combat and interface. So, uh, that's pretty much it for the strategy. You, ha you just have to consider the uh, attribute of your opponent for that stage and then create the party that counters that. Now, um, if you still have a hard time, all you have to do is just upgrade your heroes, okay? For example, my S-Class hero here, all you can do is just auto-equip and then it's gonna equip him with the best uh, equipment available for him. And then if, uh, if you're still losing, just upgrade him or just level him up and then uh, upgrade his skills and that's it. You can upgrade the equipment, you can uh, auto-equip the other characters, you can do the same thing with them. It's pretty simple. So what I'm saying here guys, anyone can pretty much play this game as long as you know how to tap and you have common sense. Alright, that's how user-friendly this game is. Now, it just doesn't stop with dungeon crawling, guys. Alright, let me show you. There are also quests that rewards you with uh, resources and all that stuff. There's also an arena. Actually, let me show you the arena, guys. Here's the arena. Oop. Crystal Arena, yeah, why not? And then you get to battle the parties of, you know, other players. This is pretty much the PvP aspect of this game. So you can see that my party battle points is 10,343. So obviously, if your uh, battle points is higher than the other players, you have a higher chance of winning against them. Let's see. Uh, let's go for... Um, this 7,000 battle point uh, guy, all right, and then we're just gonna go with our default one There you go. Here we go boys And 
And there you have it. Easy peasy, guys. I didn't even need to strategize there. I just used raw power <laughs> against him. So let's try battling someone who's who has a higher uh, battle point than we do. So we have 10,000 right now, and then there's this guy with 21,000. Okay, I'm gonna deliberately lose here, or maybe we can win. Who knows? We'll see. see I'm not even doing that much damage to him, guys. This guy's overpowered now. Yep, I'm dead. I am so dead. I am. I am dead. Yep. Uh, yep. Uh, yep. Uh, yep. 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 And I lost. No surprise there. So, yep. A lot of you guys gain satisfaction from defeating other players. So, <laughs> same here. Now, other than the arena, you can also go to the Endless Abyss. You know, just like any other game, there's like an Endless Tower. This guy, uh, this game has Endless Abyss, where you get rewarded for progressing each time. The game is also pretty generous when it comes to items. Like, you see these uh, diamonds here? You can actually just get them from doing quests and all that stuff. Or it pretty much gets rewarded in the Endless Abyss as well, or as you progress in the game. So you don't really need to... Uh, dish out money every time so it's pretty fair and I have I've checked the store doesn't really have anything here that you know signifies that's it that it's a pay to win thing all right it's pretty much balance that's the best thing about this game now another thing guys I, I don't know if I'm, I'm supposed to mention this but um, I was supposed to get bonus items as a one uh, as a person promoting this game for example, so I'll have uh, uh, like diamond advantage, like a lot of diamonds. However, the next day after I got those diamonds, my my account got banned. So I think that's pretty good. You know why? Because that means the anti cheat in this game is pretty solid. All right, even influencers like me gets banned right away once they sense that there's something sketchy about your account. So, yep, you don't have to worry about cheaters in this game, and uh, it's pretty balanced, so it's cool. See this? This is the black market. You're supposed to get OP stuff here, but all I see are basic resources and uh, summon scrolls. That's pretty much it. No pay to win, no Imba items, no Imba equipment to power up your, uh, your, your characters. It's pretty balanced. Other player aspects is of course the guilds, you can join or you can create a guild, help everyone out, share resources and stuff to make things easier for you guys. Now some more good news guys, this game got recently updated, they pretty much made the game a whole lot easier, they adjusted the chances of getting uh, S-class heroes and um, the reward system got uh, revamped and all that stuff, they pretty much improved everything, even the game optimization. The daily quests, the daily achievements are also revamped so that you can do them more frequently which means the refresh rate of those quests are a lot quicker also when you buy your first pack of gems you're going to get extra gems all right that's for the first time buying if you're really dedicated to this game hero upgrading is pretty much discounted as well even upgrading your armor and equipment is discounted for now so it's all good it's 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 uh the, the game wants you to play more that's it. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much it for Dungeon Rush. If you guys have any opinions about the games or any suggestions, leave them in the comments below so that the devs can see them. Otherwise, download the game right now, try it out with your friends, and have a good time. It's pretty simple, high rewards, low punishment game. It's all good, alright? And it's free. It's free, guys. It's free. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys again in the next video. Bye-bye.